so suppose you have a list of auto antibodies like this and you really don't want to make a flash card flash card out of it so what do you do about it how do you actively recall and you know try to re remember it every day because th these are something that you have to look over every day so yeah just go ahead and make it non visible then you also have the you know the privilege to write down something you know like voltage gated ch calcium channels is present in lambert eaton syndrome and you can write down the things that you don't know and you know be more active in the process of active recall and then you can go ahead and make this visible so let's see today how to make this possible without spending a penny that is the most important part so the first thing that you would need to do is download an app called noteful this is on ipad os ios i think and uh, go ahead download it for free because the first two layers are for free and go back to it create a new node or whatever even notebook you can create and import the image that you would like to use for your active recall that is it can be a list it can be a table or it can also be something like this that is staging for juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma this is a scary one so how do you go about doing this you added the image now this image is in layer one all right so this is something that you have to remember the next image that you're going to add is in layer two so you click on add and you add another layer that is layer two you're only limited to two layers in the free version and it is enough really so go ahead you're now in the layer two and try to go to go back to the same image edit it and crop it actually you could have cropped it in that particular you know in the noteful app itself but then cropping is supposed to be a premium feature and obviously we are not looking for premium so go ahead go back to noteful import the image again go to images go to photos look for your image click on it add it in the second layer and just make sure that you are in line okay just make sure that you are completely in line with the real image like just try to be moderately whatever helps your you know your uh, formatting and active recall so yeah just this this is it and then you go ahead and lock the first layer okay after locking the first layer you can see these two eyes here right this is the first eye and this is the second eye for layer one and layer two you can make the layers disappear accordingly so what you have to do is the layer one has all the answers so you make layer one disappear and then you start recalling and writing down what was in 1a and 1b 2a that way and then after you're done display the layer see how much you got right so this is a great way of basically you know trying to actively recall things that you need to recall daily firstly and second thing is if you are not into making flashcards and if you feel that anki is too complicated just in case okay so yeah and uh, how is it helpful it can be very helpful on the you know creating your cheat sheets for the last 24 hours before the exams and uh, the genes, the markers, the chromosome numbers, the IPCs, the developmental milestones, you can all add it to these formats. So anything that has context and that is related, that also can be added to it. You can also use it for, you know, label diagrams, cadaveric images. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but label diagrams and cadaveric images that would, you know, maybe require more number of layers, but then uh, yeah, maybe you can do it with uh, two layers as well. I'll try to find out a way and tell you guys about it. Now, another bonus tip is that um, 
how did I go about importing that first aid page okay so I went to first aid right and put the page from there so basically you just need to click on the grid button that you have here near the date time and then it will give you a thumbnail view of the pages of your book and then you just click on the thumb you want to import uh, export and um, click on export and add, add it as an image export it as an image and it will just go and get saved in your gallery so yeah if you like this video give it a like i mean show some love and tell me whether it benefited you or not and um, yeah just uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more such useful videos i'll be coming up with the explanation videos as well and um, happy studying